Good morning from Gluckstadt in northwest Germany. This is a beautiful little town right on the river Elbe and I want to show you a bit of this uh, incredible history in northwest Germany. It is a uh, part Danish and part German town. And we're going to explore a little bit of that today and uh, share with you a bit of the culture from up here in this little corner of Europe. And all that starts right now. Let's go! <laughs> Gluckstadt, the town of good fortune, or the lucky town maybe, the uh, direct translation to English. This is a uh, beautiful little seaside town, well, river side, but the Elbe is such a big river that sometimes it kind of feels like the sea. But a beautiful riverside town in northwest Germany. This is nearby where Nelly and I have been quarantining for the last few months. And it's a place I wanted to come and uh, show you here on the vlog and explore myself. I've never been here before. It's got this beautiful old German architecture. The town was uh, was originally built in 1617, which makes it very old by this Canadian's standard. But by German standard, it's actually not that old and was a, a completely planned town by the then uh, King of Denmark, Christian IV, I believe. And uh, he made this town as like a very strategic position right on the Elbe to kind of cut off the trade along the river from Hamburg coming from the ocean and uh, to try and create even like a military position here as well and it became a, a house of government for a long time as part of the Schleswig-Holstein province that we're in now uh, and was really a part of Denmark for a very long time up until like the mid 1800s when it eventually became part of Prussia as well as a whaling center car. So at one point, there was a fleet of 15 to 17 boats that would leave from this town in the middle of the 1800s and sail to Greenland to go whaling and sealing. And they would come all the way back and then boil the blubber here to be sold all throughout Europe. Um, and yeah, since that stopped, thankfully, uh, it then became a herring fishing port where uh, tons and tons and tons, literally tons of herring uh, had been uh, caught and brought back here and then shipped out from here. And there's herring still a huge part of the local culture uh, as it is in the Netherlands and all this sort of Northwest part of Europe. But let's explore a little bit of Gluckstadt, see if we can get some good images and especially show you what this place looks like from the air. First composition here just on the water's edge getting a really nice shot on some of those houses there in the background it's a very 2d image though it's sort of straight across i really want them to look like a wall to get that idea of, of the architecture in those houses side by side um, the problem is the light is about to kick off and it's not over top of my composition it is kind of moving across this way so i hope that I might get lucky as the clouds come across, but uh, this is where the secret weapon comes in, and that is the drone.
drone flight was awesome. Got the best of the light. I was probably up for almost 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that footage. I got a couple of really nice images as well. So when in doubt, uh, that is definitely my saving grace, my get out of jail free card when it comes to uh, trying to capture a location that I've never been to before. If I'm struggling on the ground, get up in the air. I seem to be super creative with the drone. I really enjoy flying it. So that was just, that was just a ton of fun and, uh, and really good to capture that footage. So now I've got uh, a very simple composition, but something that I picked up from Mr. Adam Gibbs during the F4 road trip, and that is to, uh, to simplify and crop in and utilize the four by three and the one by one crop that uh, we've got built into the Canon EOS R. So I've really simplified a square crop on this super square building. It looks like an old sort of storage building from way back in the day when this was uh, used mostly as an industrial fishing port. And uh, I think I've got a really nice image. I got the 7200 with a six stop uh, ND filter and a point uh, nine stop, three stop soft grad. Man, I haven't done photography in a while. I'm forgetting all this stuff. I think I'm getting a really, really nice uh, clean image with a lot of detail and really want to emphasize the brick and the color and those shutters, the green and some of the woodwork and the tile on the roofs. This is just the beauty of the architecture of uh, North Germany and Europe. So let's hold this one up on the screen for a while and see if you can pick out some of these details. <laughs> Come down to the River Elbe. This is like a five minute walk from Gluckstadt. The old town is right on the river basically. It's where the other smaller little uh, river meets. And this is what I really want to show you. Like the Elbe River is such an important uh, part of Northwest Germany. It's such an important part of the history of this region well before this was ever Germany. You know, we're going back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, including when Gluckstadt was founded in 1617. This was the reason why this town is here. So gotta get the drone back up in the air again. This is the only way to show you this river is from the air. So uh, time to fly. <laughs> Our sunrise light has diffused behind a layer of clouds. That's all right, it's just after seven, so I've been out for a couple hours. And uh, definitely the best light, I think, was about an hour ago when, uh, when the sun just broke over the horizon there. So got some nice images then, and that was cool. Wanted to take you down to the Elbe to show you what the river would look like in that beautiful light. But just as I got down there, the light went behind this bank of clouds. So unfortunately, didn't really get to show you the whole like grandeur of the Elbe, nor any shipping containers. Usually there's big boats like taking these, you know, hundreds of shipping containers all over the world all the time. And I really wanted to chase one with the drone, but it did not get the chance to last, which kind of sucks. But that's, you know, the name of the game at the end of the day. And this is a part of Germany. You wanted to see, hello, guten Morgen. All is good? Sehr good, sehr schön. Vielen Dank. I didn't know I could speak German, did you? So this is, Gluckstadt and uh, people are just waking up as you can see but you know as photographers that sunrise is the best time it's just so peaceful so chill you usually got the spot all to yourself you know get a couple of nice nice good images and good morning 
And now it's time for coffee. So stay with me because next video we've got a NAS RAID system that's been delivered to my house. I'm very excited to dig into that because I've got a decade worth of travel photos and videos that I need to back up. And the time is now to get on that. So that's coming up in the next video. But this is the end. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. I'll see you on the next one. Oh,